Hey guys, welcome to our hobby room, and as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. This space is kind of a, a catch-all, and it was intended to be a place where we could store our, our extra stuff that we're not using from the kitchen, our quail uh, and chicken incubators, food saver, different things. I built this shelf um, several months ago. It's a free-floating shelf where it was off the ground enough where Mandy could slide these little canvas totes under there put different things in there to, to organize and also in the middle could put some more stuff and then on top has electrical plug in the top and it's just not enough space so I'm going to build an identical one to match this side free floating hang it on the wall get all this mess cleaned up and have it much more organized so that this is a usable space uh, that we can keep track of everything that we're doing for our little farm and for our, our hobbies. So I'm gonna head out to the shop and get busy on this shelf. Okay guys, it's January in Arkansas. So of course it's cold and rainy. Sorry about the rain noise. Uh, I'm gonna start by breaking down this piece of 5 8 uh, plywood, just split it down the middle to make it a little easier to, to manage by myself. And then I'll start cutting out my individual pieces. I'm gonna be putting it together with glue and pocket holes for the most part. Uh, I'm going to use a little French cleat to hang it on the wall, but I'll show you guys that later. So, let me get started breaking this down. Uh, so for those of you that don't know what a French cleat is, it's an easy way to, to hang something, uh, especially something that's kind of heavy or bulky, onto the wall uh, very securely. And what it is, you take your, your saw and you turn it on a 45 degree angle. And as I run my piece of wood through there, it's going to cut opposing 45 degree angles. So one angle will screw to the wall as a, a nailer plate or a, a, the securing part of it, we nail it to the wall, it'll have an angle. If this is the wall, it'll have the angle turned out this way. You secure the other piece to your, your piece of furniture or whatever you're hanging on the wall. And as you butt it up against the wall, it's got the matching angle that will slide down in and secure it to the wall. It'll make more sense, I'll show you guys in a little bit, but it's a great way to hang things on the wall that you may be struggling with, or uh, maybe you wanna take it off at a later time and be able to put it back on for whatever reason. But I'm gonna cut. Unfortunately, I don't yet have a track saw, uh, or have I built one. I, I'm gonna build one in the future or buy one if I can find one at a decent price. For these rip cuts across the grain of the plywood, it's too difficult to do this by myself and unsafe to do on a table saw. So I'm just gonna cut it off with a circular saw. It's a pretty short cut. I can clean it up with a sander if I, if I don't get it really nice and square. Doesn't really matter anyway, but a little helpful uh, piece of advice, I got this uh, two inch thick foam dog chewed insulation that I saved for, for this purpose that I can just saw right into it and it won't hurt anything. I'm not cutting it to my work, work table. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Uh, then I'm gonna cut the, this is the top. And then I'm gonna cut the bottom piece uh, and then start assembling it. Take a little eighth inch round over bit in my router. Gonna round over the top. Uh, 
this is the top. I'm gonna to do the, the underside and the top side of it, just to knock off any splinters. The rest of it, I'm not gonna do any kind of routing on or round over, because it's all gonna be basically a, a butt connection where it's screwed and glued into the other part. So maybe the front side of the, uh, the bottom may put a round over on it. Okay, so lesson learned, I think I would have done a much better job. It turned out okay, but it would have done a much better job if I would have just pulled the router out and ran it in a freehand. It was too big of a piece and it has a bow in it. Um, it was plywood, it has a bow in it. It was very hard to hold it down flush to the table uh, and get a good cut on the edge. It turned out okay. I may sand it just a little bit, but to do it again, take it out, use it freehand, wait till it's assembled and then route it. But first time I've got to use it, Christmas present, and uh, so far I've been pleased with it. A little bit of things that I've messed around with. You guys can see that it's almost a C shape in here. In order to get that pulled up, uh, pull that bow out of it, I screwed this uh, straight piece of, I guess it's cut off two by four or something on here. And I'm gonna put this piece on there and then I'll have something that I can clamp it to to pull the bow out when I shoot the pocket holes in. And I think it'll work okay. So I get both ends in and I'll put my uh, my um, French cleat part in the back and then move on from there. So my battery actually did go dead on uh, the foam, so I put it on the charger for a little while. But in the meantime, I did get the back side of my, um, my French cleat put in, and I got my front uh, inch and a half strip put in. I just countersunk some screws from the top, some two inch screws from the top, and uh, did some pocket holes. See them. Glue out of the way. Some pocket holes on the end right here just to hold it in. This is really just to give it strength from the top. Uh, strength when it's if something heavy sitting on top of it. And I'm gonna put a divider in right here. This is the looking from the bottom towards the top. This is my nailer strip, my bottom nailer strip that I'm fixing to put in. And then I'll put my bottom shelf in and trim out with my inch and a half strip from there back to here.
got it this far. This was a terrible piece of plywood. Uh, it was a piece that I had bought just as an extra. Had it sitting back over there. You may have seen it in another video. Sitting back over there, and she said, hey, you know, we want to finish this up. So, okay, I've got that piece of plywood. I'm going to use it, and I shouldn't have. I should have went and got another one, better quality. But that being said, it is already put together. It did turn out terrible, but I am going to have to put a, a divider or a support, really, is what it's going to be because this plywood was so bowed uh, when I put it in there that it's it may go down with weight on it, but I would feel better. It's a little bit longer than the other because I had more space between the window and the wall than the other side of the room. Put it in there for support. Put a plug in the top. Go hang the French cleat on the wall. Go set it in place and screw in some nailer. Uh, screw it in the nailer strip, and I'll be all done. So a little bit longer. Maybe hit it with a sander a little bit, but looking okay. sander to clean up any edges, smooth it out a little bit. And the second thing is I want to add that plug in the top so that Mandy can, whatever she's using the shelf for, that if she needs electricity, it's in the top, on the available on the top and on the middle shelf because I'll just plug it into the plug that's on the wall. So she'll have uh, electricity available on both without having the cords all wrapped around the front underneath. Worked out real well in the other one and I like it. The problem is going through my electrical box, jump box over there is, I am completely out of plastic uh, old work boxes or electrical boxes to cut into this and to, chan to channel uh, my inner Bert from the greatest movie ever, Tremors, that's never happened to me before. I did find a solution. So I found this, this metal box with a mud ring that will work. This would be a little more challenging to mount it it, but it won't matter, you won't see it up under there. It'll still work out the same. Put the plug in and be able to use it. So I'm gonna measure this out, cut it out with a jigsaw, mount it, and uh, then I'll sand it and have everything cleaned up. All right, so I'm gonna cut this hole with a jigsaw. And used to, what I would do would be drill a hole in all, all four corners and then cut uh, the lines out to those corners to cut that piece out. But I learned that Jigsaw has a plunge cut function. And what you do is you put the Jigsaw where the front edge is down, you start it and then ease it into the wood like this. And as you apply pressure backwards, the blade will cut a plunge cut or will cut into the wood and eventually you wind up with like this, which is where you want to be as you cut along your lines. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I've, I've done this a couple of times since I learned it, and it is very handy, saves you a lot of time on drilling the holes.
is in, shelf is strong. The French cleat worked out great, especially because this wall, and I did not build this wall, uh, this wall is not really square or uh, straight. It's got a couple of bows in it. So it was really nice to, to measure that out, get it leveled, screw to the studs, and then Mandy helped me and we just came and set it right in there and slid down in that French cleat. It was strong enough to hold it by itself, but I did put some screws in the in the bottom uh, nailer strip so that it doesn't you know, kick away from the wall or anything like that. Then I climbed up on it and took a nap because I was tired. Um, I'm going to build some more shelves up higher just for, for some more uh, storage space. But this one's in. It looks great. Matches that one. It's a little bit longer. Great place to store all of our hobby stuff. But uh, if you guys like it, hit like. If you don't like it, it doesn't matter because she likes it. That's what matters. Subscribe. Uh, until next time, go build something out of plywood.